जय रागो सुधा वर्किंग एज अ लेक्चर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश सीता लक्ष्मी रामस्वामी कॉलेज त्रिची टुडे इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट एज ऑफ ड्राइडन एंड ओवरव्यू एक्चुअली इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर द पीरियड डेटिंग फ्रॉम 1662 1700 वी कॉल इट एज एज ऑफ ड्राइडन and age of dryden also called as restoration period actually from the title itself we can understand that this was an era of change both in political social and also in literary fields in fact literature appealed more to the head than to the heart and they gave importance to their intellect than wandering of their mind and moreover emotion and imagination is replaced by reason and good sense and if we take up literature of that period was influenced much by french literature like our indian literature is influenced much by british literature and then literature ceased to be sore and became a pedestrian which means literature was once in a peak and then it faced a downfall of course dryden was the english poet dramatist and literary critic and playwright he was appointed as england's first poet laureate in the year 1668 he was called as the greatest man of a little age so if you take up restoration period it was a very very little age within that dryden was a greatest man who exceeds that age and so he was called as the one complete representative and exponent of that age of course it is said that he was an representative representative of that age he began the neoclassical age in literature it was his influence and example which lifted the classic couplet for many years as the accepted measure of serious english poetry and if we take up john dryden however he remains a crucial figure in the poetry plays and also in criticism that were written during the last half of the 17th century and in the year 1644 dryden was admitted to westminster school and in the year 1650 he entered the trinity college cambridge dryden he lived from 1631 to 1700 he was born in a time when england faced a much political and religious turmoil that's why we call it as restoration age and in the year 1659 he contributed a memorial volume for oliver cromwell so that marked him as a poet of worth watching and as realitics one of the significant poem by john dryden that consists of more than 300 lines in rhymed couplets and for the coronation in the year 1661 he wrote to her sacred majesty most importantly restoration writers were strongly influenced by the term enlightenment as they were influenced by intellect and writers of during this period they emphasized the potential of logic and reason than emotion and imagination of course we all know about john den and john milton those two are exponents of english literature so after john den and john milton john dryden was the greatest english poet of 17th century and if you take a william shakespeare after william shakespeare and ben jonson he was the greatest playwright dryden as a playwright he has contributed a lot to the literature actually the greatest heroic play of the century was the conquest of granada which was published in the year 1670 and 1671 and then the greatest tragic comedy marriage a la mode which was published in the year 1671 He wrote the tra greatest tragedy of the Restoration, which we call it as All for Love, which was published in the year 1677, and then the greatest tragic comedy Don Sebastian, which was published in the year 1689, and one of the greatest comedies Amphitryon, which was published in the year 1690. And Dryden, as a prose writer, he developed a lucid professional style. that relying on patterns and rhythms of everyday speech and his most famous prose is the character of a dreamer and as a translator he developed an easy manner of what he called the term paraphrase and his translation of the unit remains the best ever produced in english 
Dryden is the greatest poet of Restoration age. He perfected the heroic couplet, sprinkling it with the judicious enjambments, triplets, and metric variations. His poetry was neither emotional excitement of the early 19th century romantics nor the intellectual complexities of the metaphysicals. His subject matter was often factual than emotional. And in his preface to religious lazy, he says that the expression of a poem designed purely for instruction ought to be plain and natural yet majestic. Most of his writings are simple and um, plain yet majestic. Dryden, he was the greatest poet and he is also best known as a satirist, although he wrote only two great satires, that is Mac Flecknow, which was published in the year 1682 and The Medal, which was published in the year 1682. And then if we take up Absalom and Archidophel, which was published in the year 1681, it contains several brilliant satiric portraits. I hope we have learned something about John Ryden. See you in the next class. Thank you.